Hi and welcome to our latest video, something Christmassy from Hamburg. Captured in 2018 on our first visit to this beautiful city. We'd love you to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with us on our latest travels. Just in case you didn't know, Hamburg's in the centre of the north of Germany. Easy to fly to, but we were on a Christmas road trip. So with our car safely parked up at the Yadina Hotel, I'll drop a link to that in the description, we headed out to our first Christmas market, St Petri, or St Peter's. So after the drive from Bremen, the first thing the driver demanded was a good old fashioned sausage, and of course, a mug of steaming Glühwein. Refueled, it's now time to explore the markets. And we didn't get far before the very first purchase, chocolate kisses. However, the problem is always going to be, what do you choose? Well, the benefit of a road trip is, I can have a box of 12, tuck them away in the car, and I know they'll safely get home. Well, 10 of them anyway. Like so many German cities, Hamburg has many markets, and we try to discover as many as we can. We have a sort of general rule of thumb is that we like to shop during the day and of an evening we like to come along and soak up the atmosphere. But whatever time of day, you'll find these places so friendly. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner but I'm just not used to this kind of warmth. So as much as I love these markets during the day, and I enjoy a glue vine or two just to keep out the cold, they really come into their own once darkness falls. Everything just sparkles a little more. The centre of Hamburg feels classy and sophisticated, but like any city, it does have its more interesting suburbs. The other thing you'll notice is, Hamburg is very much built on water, the River Elbe is its lifeblood. And now into the white magic market. See what I did there? Avoided the German pronunciation. Oh thank you Google Translate. I love these markets for the unique gifts you can pick up. And also the different styles of glasses each market has. And this city really sparkles. Now one of the things I didn't know before we arrived at Hamburg was that Santa visits the Rat House Market three times a day. That's 4pm, 6pm and 8pm, just so you know. And if you look in the bottom left, you can just see Santa's sleigh and his reindeer. And here you go, here comes Santa. Now I'm going to be honest, the first time I saw this, I thought the Santa figure was an animatronics or something like that. It turns out that's really Santa in the sleigh. He travels across the whole market, waving to all the boys and girls, young and old, as he travels up towards the Christmas tree. Now in a bit of a surprise, he returns back to the centre of the market to speak to all of us. And I think as a sign of something that's really typical of the German markets, I think the adults enjoy this as much as the children. Actually, if not more. 
And that's why these markets are so different than the ones we have in the UK and why we love them so much. This market in front of the rat house is so family orientated. It's just lovely. But of course, it's a chance for another stop for a touch of glue vine. And these are the Christmas mugs we decided to bring back from Hamburg. It's also a great place to get fed with loads of different options on the market. And Janice went for the milk chocolate banana. And I went for the dark chocolate cherries. We loved our time in Hamburg. And so we returned in 2019, but not at Christmas. And there'll be a later video to describe what else you can do in the city other than the Christmas markets. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. And now Winter Wild, or Winter Forest. A vibrant little market, perhaps a little bit more adult orientated, but still great fun. Well, the end is near, but don't forget to check out our video from Bremen, our previous destination on this trip. I'll pop up a link to that right about now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and happy travels.